Hey everybody, my name's Jordan. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to warm up an email completely for free. So before we begin, if you have an email that you're looking to warm up that's been landing in spam and you're looking to get it out of spam, this video is not for you. This is if you have a new email or an email that you haven't used for months and you wanna warm it up. So let's say you've sent zero emails within the past month, two weeks from now, you're gonna have a supercharged email that's ready to send 20 to 25 emails a day. So let's get straight into it. Maybe you've heard of this software, maybe you haven't. It's called instantly.ai. So type in instantly.ai and let me move me to the bottom left. So right now there's instantly.ai and these and there's Lemlist. These are two email automation softwares, email outreach automation softwares, but you can kind of, I guess, cheat the system and warm up your email completely for free. Instantly, I love you guys. Uh, I cannot say good enough things about your software. You can have unlimited domains. Uh, it's cheaper than Lemlist. It's truly, truly a great software. But for those struggling and don't have money for an email automation software, you can take advantage of this, warm up your email completely for free. So let's get straight into it. What we're gonna do is hit get started. Enter your name. Okay, this is a new email and I forgot what it's called. So free two week. Okay, oh, perfect. Free two week email warm up. Let me just make sure I got that. Okay, at gmail. Come, password, whatever you want it to be. Agree, agree, join now. You guys know how to do this. So we're gonna verify our email. And as you guys can see here, I literally just created this. It's 6.14 p.m. Um, I created this email 6.07. I've sent zero messages. So this is a brand new email, okay? So if you have an email similar to this and you're looking to do some outreach, this is the best way to do that outreach and not have your emails land in spam. Okay, so click through all this. Feel free to read it. I've done this a million times. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new email. So... First of all, I went pretty fast there, so let me back up. What we're going to do is hit add new, and we're going to go to Gmail. Hopefully you have Gmail. If you don't, you know, there's other uh, options for you. But if you have Gmail, like the rest of the world, what we're going to do is come to Gmail. We're gonna click on this little settings gear icon, see all settings, and then we're going to click forwarding and pop slash IMAP. We're going to enable IMAP, and then we're gonna save these changes, okay? So that's step one. Uh, it, it walks you through it, so if I went a little fast, you can rewind and watch it again, or you can just read these. It's a super simple process, okay? So boom, yes, IMAP has been enabled. Now, what we're going to do is go to our Google Accounts security settings, okay? So you can just click this link here. I opened it up in a new tab. We're gonna scroll down to we see two-step verification. So we're gonna click this. We're gonna hit get started. And we're going to enter in our details. Um, let's set up a phone. Let's not set up a phone. Okay, so you have to set up a phone number. Text message. Enter the code. So I'm going to fast forward through this. Okay, awesome. So it worked. Two step verification is now on. So we're going to turn it on. We are going to come down here now because it's asking for us to create an app password. We already enabled two-step verification. So now we're gonna create an app password, okay? So let's come back here. Uh, literally after you create, uh, or you turn on two-step verification, you can scroll down and it's right under it. It's app password. So we're gonna click on this. We're going to do what we do every single time and enter our password. Then we're going to select an app. So we're not using mail, calendar, contacts, YouTube, literally just type in instantly. You could name it whatever you want, but I mean, let's be, let's be smart here and remember what these, uh, these codes are, are used for. So here's our app password. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to highlight this, copy it. And I would write this down in like your phone notes or I'd open a Google doc and I would just save it somewhere just so you always have it because you never know when you're gonna need it again. So I'll just write Google app password, beauty. Okay, so that's done. 
Um, so now we have an app password. It's copied. Make sure it is copied. Um, and then we hit next. So enter the email again. And I'm sorry about my poor memory. I literally just created this email. Okay. Free to week email warm up. Cool. App password. Copy paste that bad boy. Hit connect. And you have an account inside of instantly, but we're not done yet. We need to turn on warm up. So you could literally click enable warm up, uh, but we're going to go to settings first. So we're going to hit settings, um, enable warm up. We're going to enable. Yes, I understand. Feel free to read this if you'd like. Um, just talks about the details of how it works. Um, now we're going to go to settings. And guys, if you're sending over 25 emails a day, you're probably going to get flagged. You are playing with fire. Uh, I, I know a lot of you like want to start outreach and you want to send, you know, 300 emails a day. You can do that, but you're going to need multiple domains. Okay. This is a domain. Uh, actually, this is just a Gmail. Uh, a domain would be Jordan at amazon.com, for example. So where it says maximum campaign emails to send per day, it starts with 50. Don't do this. Uh, you can, but you're doing it at your own will, okay? So now we're going to ignore custom tracking domain because we don't want to pay for this yet. Um, and so suggested warm-up per day, I would do three. Um, it says max four suggested one. So let's just, you know, be a little risky here and do three. Um, daily warm-up limit, 20. Great. So we're looking to shoot for 20 uh emails a day it's going to warm up by adding three extra emails so it's going to start day one three day two six day three nine uh, you guys can do math and then it'll stop when it gets to 20 and then it'll send 20 emails consistently every single day um so reply rate that's fine um if you if you pay for the uh the instantly plan paid plan you can do this but uh it's really not that big of a deal hit save uh, make sure that this little uh, flame logo is green and your email is warming up. And if you saw at the beginning, it said free trial, 14 days. 14 days is exactly how long it takes for an email to warm up. So you are doing everything right. Your email is warming up. You can focus on what you need to focus on. I know it's a bit of a pain to wait two weeks, but don't you don't you want to wait two weeks to have an email that you can use forever? You know, isn't it worth that? What if you spend all this time building an email and then three months down the road, you're ending up in spam because you didn't warm up your email. I know it's a bit of a pain, but think of it as an investment into your business or your service or outreach or whatever you're trying to do. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I look forward to talking soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.